Cameron County hosting their sixth mass vaccination clinic today. The county again focusing on people 65 and older as they try a new vaccination strategy. They're hoping to come up with a 24 hour super clinic as vaccines become more available. Here's Channel 5's Rudy Mireles. The fourth clinic at Los Fresnos Fire and EMS Department differed from the first three. The county administered all 6,000 of its allocated doses in one go. It's just a matter of resources and the fact that we've got to maximize the doses and also get them into the arms as quickly as possible so that we can continue to receive the doses. A move that caused frustration for some waiting for a shot. But state health officials say at this point, some issues are just unavoidable. There's no perfect system. So definitely, you know, there's going to be people that are going to be upset because of the lines or upset because of uh, not hearing in time. But there's not enough vaccine for everyone. For now, Cameron County Judge Eddie Trevino Jr. says this site will play a leading role going forward. Everybody that's participated so far is helping make uh, our, our decision to locate our super clinic here at Los Fresnos uh, a really, really good, good idea and a good project that's working out beneficially for everybody. And while some municipalities are frustrated they can't host their own clinic, State Regional Medical Director Emily Pro says logistics play a major role in deciding a site. It's not as easy as you have to schedule people. You have to have people come through. If they're waiting a long time, you have to provide bathrooms. And those are just some of the things that Trevino says make this location work. For example, it's not just what you're seeing when you're waiting in line or driving by it. In this room, 40 different people working on everything from preparing the vaccine to getting the information logged so everyone has a vaccination card from start to finish. That data entry is a requirement by the state. It's used to accurately reflect the doses being given out. And while hundreds of volunteers, law enforcement, fire and EMS, school district and college employees are all coming together to help the health department make the best of an evolving situation, Dr. Pro says getting frustrated only makes it difficult for everyone. Things are a little bit more difficult right now, and that's why people seem to be almost in the in the hunger games. I mean, it's, it's uh, a little bit crazy and people get very upset. So we don't want those types of experiences. And Thervino is confident this is the best plan. So much his team is already planning the next phase of the county's operation. The elderly that are that are homebound, that are unable to leave their, their homes, and we're looking at different possible uh, avenues and, and, and plans to address that. In Los Fresnos, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 6.